You know, we're on YouTube because that's where the battle for the general public is. More than half the world's free video views, uh, according to Business Insider and other publications, on numbers that have been released, are on YouTube. So people say, well, it's their own private site. It's free market. If they don't like it, they should be able to ban you. No, the terms of service is that it's a public commons YouTube. You, you and me, you and I. And as long as you follow their rules, you should be able to be there. But if ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox, CNN, BBC show the collateral damage video where they shoot up the Reuters vehicle and the little kids, it's just black and white. You can't even really see their bodies. They're allowed to show that in the newscast. We show it. They banned our account. I had to have lawyers send them letters, everything else, and they backed off. But most people don't have the time and energy to do that. I had to swear out an affidavit in federal court uh, just to keep the channel we've got that's got 300-something million views. And then on that channel, it was 300 million views, and they turned it back to 270 million views. And then, I mean, it's, it's all sorts of weirdness. And now with World War Z review I did about how it's a bunch of pro-UN, anti-gun you know, owner garbage in the book, um, which uh, the film is like the first few chapters of the book, so they're going to do a sequel with it. But 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 the first few uh, chapters are true to what basically happens in the film. I've seen it and done another review of that, Man of Steel versus uh, versus World War Z. And people say, well, why do you cover films? Well, we cover them because then that's pop culture. We reach out to people that aren't into politics. That's how we get new people who aren't just in the choir or in the Church of Liberty. But... Uh, all over the place, I have seen videos that go viral that get a half million, million, two million views. And YouTube will delete them. Or YouTube will say parental uh, you know, reasons and block them. Mike Adams put out a very funny TSA one that just had him joking around about, it's super awesome to stick our hands down your pants. You know, we're total losers. But it was South Parkian and funny. It was going viral. They Planned the, they banned the video. They blocked it. So this is the type of stuff that goes on. They really hate humor. And we've had over 500 entries, and we're going through the last of them. Uh, it's the best of times, worst of times, for the Paul Revere contest. And David Knight's been on showing a lot of that. We commend him for that. InfoWars Nightly News reporter, uh, guest host here on the broadcast, uh, doing a great job. And uh, Telly Leatherface Blackwood is a retired, well-known professional wrestler, uh, comedian, uh, and he has a great YouTube site, or had one with 9 million plus views. He did a Paul Revere entry where George Washington comes back and basically gets in the face of Michael Moore and others. It, it's total satire. It's not violent. It's a joke. It's got cartoonish waterboarding that they have in real cartoons, you know, mainline TV, everywhere, and they banned it. Now, you can still see it on another video site, which is why we always say do your entry on YouTube, but also on another platform, because we know how they operate. But here's the issue. They banned his Google account, his email, everything else. This is their plan, they've said, where they're going to take down everything on the web. Their plan is you'll have an Internet ID with a thumbprint or face scan to access, and you'll just suddenly not be able to buy or sell. This is the cashless society. And they're going to rack up fines and fees and everything to use the Internet so it's a corporate, global, above-the-law group like Facebook, part of Bilderberg, saying they own everything you've ever done on it retroactively. So this is the big combines are trying to take over and get rid of the old web, and cybersecurity has been built on record to help them kill the real web. Now, that's what they've actually said. We've written articles on this. This isn't rhetoric. This is what they say they're going to do. Okay, just like we told you a decade ago, they're watching you over onboard audio and, and, and video on, on the computers. Now that's all admitted. It was admitted then. I had the patents of them admitting it. It wasn't my opinion, but people weren't ready to believe it. Okay, but I'm telling you folks, this is their plan to kill the free web as we know it. That's why Google acts like they're defending the free web, because they're taking it over themselves. David Knight, I want to go to Telly Blackwood, who was censored here, and maybe we can get some attention. He can start a new channel, but they make you get a Google... Uh, email now to have an account. They've made all us do that here, mm -hmm. which is a monopoly. And, and they won't even talk to him about the issue. I mean, he's got this cryptic message that just says uh, the, the account has been terminated due to a legal complaint. He tried to contact him. He couldn't talk to them because 
He didn't have a Google. No judge, no jury. Right. It's just it's just somebody complained off of your head. And you see this happening, you know, CISPA that came up, right? The whole idea about that was that they could file and, and they've come at this a number of ways. You know, first they were coming at it from a with a SOPA and some of these other with, with a copyright violations where they can just take your entire website down immediately. But one element of CISPA was to protect these these private companies like Google that are turning over your information as a third party. They just voluntarily turn it over to the government. The government maintains that they don't need to have a search warrant if they get the information voluntarily from a third party. So CISPA was set up to protect them from any legal liability for violating their user agreements. That was a key element of CISPA. They can come in and act capriciously, arbitrarily, and as you pointed out, they can treat you differently than they treat uh, the, the major news media. You know, take, take your website down because of a video that you put up that they allow other news organizations to put up. It's amazing, though, that satire is completely protected. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's like 13 years in jail for chalk in L.A., water soluble. And the judge says, you will not bring up First Amendment arguments. Mm -hmm. Telling someone you have no Bill of Rights, that is, that is a serious crime. You can look that up. A judge saying your Bill of Rights is not admissible. He sworn an oath to that. Right, right. And, and satire is, is, as you said, is, is very explicitly protected with fair use. Why do you think but, they why do you think they ban uh comedies what they're really scared of? Sorry, go ahead. Well, I think they like it when people are afraid. Now, we, we talk about what's happening with Snowden and the NSA and that sort of thing. It, it's it's people have to know that. We're not trying to make people afraid. We're trying to get them to be aware of what's going on, to wake up, to get angry enough to do something about it. They're hoping that you're going to be afraid. They're hoping you're going to be intimidated. So they're okay when information comes out that intimidates and scares some of the public. But they're not okay about it when you make fun of them, when you point out the emperor has no clothes. That's not something that they, that they want to have go out. Well, that's what I was basically you know, getting at is that I come at this because I'm angry that we're being enslaved and I don't have fear. I have fear of letting them win, and I know that sometimes I actually scare people. That's not my goal. Right. People should be scared of not getting involved and standing up. I want to go to uh, Telly uh, Blackwood. We have the article uh, up on Infowars.com right now that actually has the video that is censored. It's film contest entrant banned from YouTube. Actually, he's been banned from Google platforms, blacklisted. <laughs> Uh, and harassed by stranger, I would just change it to say, uh, you know, you, you know, banned from anonymous complaint. Uh, but the point is, this is going on, and the banned videos there. Uh, Telly, uh, tell us what you think of this. Yeah, he's lost our Skype audio. Telly, can you hear me there, bud? Did we do an audio now. test with it's you earlier? In and out. Okay, fantastic. Uh, again, why do you think this happened to you? Um, I was probably getting the word out very well, um, or else there's a couple actors and show hosts that took it personal a little too much. That's right. Michael Moore actually had been responding publicly to this video. Yeah, one little response, a uh, quick one with a little profane in it, and now it's pretty much the end of it. And that was on his Facebook, right? Yes. And so now Michael Moore doesn't like it, so you don't have free speech? It's if that's the reason. Um, one thing I was always suspicious is um, I was in process of emailing Infowars a couple of whistleblowers who came to me, you know, seeking you guys, and it was within after one hour after sending those emails was I blocked out of my Gmail. Um, by morning is when I started getting the weird little text and phone calls, and I realized I still couldn't get into my Gmail. But they did send you a YouTube notice uh, that it was due to a, a legal complaint, a secret legal oh. complaint. Well, I had, to, I had to actually send them a message from another Gmail account to try to get the information out of them for it. But they did tell you that that's why that happened. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, once, you, they, once, you give them, once you give them the alternate email address, they'll send you that little notice that I sent the screenshot of, and that's, that's it. They didn't even notify you, though. You just kind of found out by looking at it that it was gone right yeah it was just all of a sudden gone um less than you less unusual is usually if there's a music violation or any copyright issues usually they'll actually nuke your video or they'll block your audio out 
Then when you log into your dashboard, you'll actually get options. It'll actually let you know what's going on. Yeah, according to their rules in the public commons, you get to challenge things. But no, here, just boom, your Gmail account's gone, everything. This is this is what, because, oh, the almighty uh, great man, the self-propelled uh, job of the hut uh, is probably the one that complained. And when the royalty, when, when his royal highness, you know, wants something banned from the Internet, uh, it's gone. And they don't say anything about copyright and the message to you. They just say a legal complaint. And there wasn't anything in there that would have been a copyright violation. Maybe I can do a legal complaint and just come take your house, David. <laughs> you probably could. Or how about your life? I can play and they execute you. Yeah. How's that sound? Yeah. <laughs> NDAA, if the president wants to kill U.S. citizens, he can. What's wrong with making him emperor? I mean, Hitler could kill whoever he wanted. Why can't Obama? That's right. Uh, uh, Telly, uh, you're now a very serious thought criminal. The video is still available on Vimo. We have it, or Vimeo, uh, on Infowars.com. Do you think other thought criminals should go out there and protest by getting your video out to people that had half a million views? I think they were scared at how fast your video was growing. Yeah. The fast that it was growing and the fact that I actually managed to get myself into a, a local press, the Sacramento Bee, which got syndicated nationwide through a bunch of different internet sites. Um, the video just traveled just beyond just the views. The views was a nice thing, but the reach with my articles and other publicity I got off of the video. Yeah, so let's be clear. You you did a video. The reason we did a contest was the First Amendment to get the word out about George Washington. Uh, Job of the Hut didn't like it, and so, and it was in the news. So now your video's gone, and your civil rights have been violated, and the video clearly doesn't violate their terms of use. We'll be right back as part of the Paul Revere Film Contest. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. By the way, folks, uh, Telly Blackwood uh, has been the star on TV shows, you name it, like Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, you name it. He's had a long career on movies, TV, you name it, and he's got a popular YouTube channel uh, with over 9 million views, and then he puts out a video that makes it in the Sacramento Bee and then a bunch of other papers about a joke video against Michael Moore where George Washington's angry at him, and Michael Moore on his Facebook well, I mean, you've got a copy of it right there, uh, David. Don. It's in our article, yeah. Film Contest Entrant uh, Banned. I've changed the headline uh, now, actually, on InfoWars uh, to basically to what it is. Uh, comedy video banned from YouTube for criticizing Michael Moore. And I bet money it's, my, it's one of Michael Moore's people. He, he came back and said, oh, you think that's real funny there, a-holes? Coming what, from what looks like a group of juvenile delinquents and your conservatives. Very interesting. That was his comment. Yeah, yeah, we're conservatives yeah. just because we believe in the Second Amendment. How about we're free humans? Yeah. Stop yeah. trying to label us, scumbag. Listen, I've had his people, his his bodyguards, like 15 feet from Moore. I'm just like, Mr. Moore, question. Come over and run into me with their elbow. Like, hit me like, in my sides. So I just rammed the guy back. <laughs> and the guy was all, ugh. And I'm like, yeah, you go ahead, man. All of you, come on, let's go. <laughs> I mean, I am sick of this in this country, bunch of thugs. Yeah. By the way, his guys are all armed, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, what a hypocrite pig. Oh, yeah. And I don't mean because he's fat. I, you know, I'm sorry uh, here, uh, Telly, I'm ranting, and I appreciate you coming on. Are you angry? All your great comedy stuff erased by this, by this maggot, this anti-free speech maggot? Well, first of all, a couple of his bodyguards come up against me, and it was going to be a major, major issue. <laughs> And two is, yes, that was my whole history. It wasn't just, you know, my, my current videos, my comedy. It was, you know, appearances with other you know, celebrities and actors and different behind the scenes things. Um, There's a lot of videos that we did since the very beginning that are wiped out. I mean, some of them I have backed up, but there's a lot of things there that is lost. It's totally gone. Yeah, you think about it. You put your stuff on Facebook and YouTube, and then they kick you off but keep all your stuff and sell it. Mm -hmm. They, I mean, I am so sick of them. Well, look at the massive erasure of stuff from the Kim.com case. They just said, went in. They haven't even finished the trial. They accused him of having some copyright material up there. They seized everyone's personal records that were on the cloud. And he pled with them to not erase anything until after the trial. They haven't had the trial. They haven't convicted of anything. 
but they just deleted all the data last week. So it's gone. And it's a lot of that is personal information that is not Incredible. provided stuff. We got another guest coming in a minute, but I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna hold uh, the guest over so he can finish uh, any points. Uh, Telly Blackwood, uh, but again, we have links to your other sites, your other video on Infowars.com. It's very important for all the viewers out there to go get this video and get it out so that they don't win in the censorship. Because as Telly said, this ended up being in newspapers all over the country. This is the whole point of the contest is to get the idea of liberty out, and now there's a legal complaint, so it's gone. Well, Telly Blackwood is an accomplished uh, actor in movies, big TV shows, you name it. He's also been a national wrestler. And we're going to be talking to Matt Dubiel here in a minute uh, about his little visit with FEMA and more. He's down there visiting us uh, from 1530wckg.com uh, up in Chicago. He's the general manager up there. We're honored to have him with us. But uh, I've been ranting here. It's just so clear that Michael Moore gets upset publicly comments about this video, part of the Infowars.com film Paul Revere contest. And then it gets in the Sacramento Bee, it gets in a bunch of other newspapers. The video, you know, every day getting hundreds of thousands of views, they could see this was going to get millions. It had a half a million when they, or, or more when they killed it. It was like 600 and something thousand. And then they just kill the video. Uh, in fact, uh, the last time you looked at it, Telly Blackwood, uh, the maker of the film and who plays Jabba the Hutt uh, in it, uh, how many views did it have when they killed it? I believe it had um, 533,000K last time I looked at it yesterday morning. Um, it's been locked up for a couple of days, so I'm sure the numbers are about to flip. Um, as soon as it happened. So look, 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 I believe it was Michael Moore probably or not. It was it was uh, the red coat Pierce Morgan. So so I guess they don't just dislike the Second Amendment here. Mm, yeah, they don't like the first as well, obviously. Absolutely. So they don't like the second. They don't like the first as well. I think I said that backwards. So, so I mean, what do you think's going on here? I think it's just another um, meaningless censorship. Um, with all the whistleblowers coming out and people exercising their rights and speaking out and waking up. Um, like, like you said before, you want a comedy, well, laughter travels and comedy travels. So I used that to go ahead and bring people in and slap the truth on them as soon as they were done laughing. I think this is going to backfire. I would contact the local paper and others and point out now that your video got removed so they can contact uh, the uh, YouTube people and ask why they're doing this and, and, and find out who made this legal complaint. Because if they can shut down anybody's work and part of their livelihood, uh, then they could do this to anybody. Yeah, well, they got me in the loop, loop around when I was trying to get into the, the Gmail for access and recover YouTubes or try to see what was going on. Um, they did try blocking me on all that pretty much. Um, the more worrisome thing is is not having no due process or no chance to even explain myself or see who's doing what or where because a lot of people hate and dislike your videos and I've heard before people flagging your video a couple times and your video is gone or something happens but I mean just to come here and say oh we got a complaint you know goodbye you're gone and without no notice or explanation is ridiculous. Well, that shows that they thought it was pretty important whoever threatened them. And the way he acts with his bodyguards, with all their firearms and everything, I mean, th this guy is really a monster. And I'm glad you point out the hypocrisy of the fact that he has armed bodyguards, six of them, but he doesn't want you to be able to have a gun to protect yourself. He says, get a dog, Telly. He is a, he is a dog. And two, I don't see... Don't insult he's... dogs. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. Sorry, dogs. But I don't, I don't see why he needs bodyguards anyway. I mean, Lady Gaga or Madonna or someone like that, yeah. But if I seen him on the street, I wouldn't want his autograph or get near his little pudgy face anyway. So <laughs> I tell you, um, what would you like to say to uh, Man Bear Pig? I mean, I don't know that's Al Gore. What would you like to say uh, to the anti-First Amendment, anti-Second Amendment uh, creature? I would say you are living in the wrong country. That you and your your other little globalist pals, including peers, need to all hop on a little ship and sail off somewhere. I won't say where, but you need to sail off. You know somewhere. that they say that's why he's so obese. Though he supports the UN population reduction programs, is just from going to third world countries and eating children. I'm joking, folks. He doesn't actually eat children. 
Well, he, he should have been the star of Man vs. Food. So, you know, the other guy, for sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it, it's mean. Um, <laughs> but seriously, I mean, I'm surprised you're not even more angry and making a joke out of it. They took your site with over, uh, over 9 million views? Yeah, yeah, I'm very angry. My main angry point was the first half hour to hour of making the discovery. Um, I've been up all night and pretty angry and doing everything I can to try to figure out. You're supposed to get three strikes, but they just, they violated their own policy. No, and you know, my, my material over the years, you know, it was a little, a little edgy and I've gotten warnings before, but my account, I've been a YouTube partner for a long time. And my account has been clear from anything for forever. I mean, but like I said, when you get violations, they just either take your video down, send you a little message in your dashboard that you're messing up, and you can protest, you can, you know, <clears throat> you know, contest it or whatever. Sometimes you can't, and you say, okay, and agree, then you move on. And you know, I, I actually, think everybody should recreate your video and, and uh, or like waterboard a cat box and say it's, say it's, 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 it's him uh, or just, just everything. Uh, because if he doesn't like satire in America, he should l leave to North Korea. <laughs> I don't think he'd eat very well there. Well, they'd probably actually eat him. That's a, the, the, the UN food aid program to North Korea. He should, he says there's too many people. He should, he should probably go over there and sacrifice himself uh, so, so that so thousands so could eat. <laughs> he's so full of GMO and crap. I don't think no one would want to eat him anyway. Oh, man. <laughs> I gotta be honest. I think I, I think I think he and Mr. Maddow are very handsome men. And I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I meant Janet Reno, Mr. Reno. I guess I'm involved in more thought crimes here. It's okay <laughs> though, and they're always attacking everybody. Seriously, anything else you, you'd like to say? Thought criminal, Telly Blackwood, websites, other things they haven't deleted yet uh, that you'd like to be able to give out to <laughs> other thought criminals out there. There isn't much left. Um, they already took my Twitter, which was at 58,000 um, followers recently this past month, and it's down to 1,800. I sit there and watch it over a one-week period, dropping numbers after a brief argument over gun control with a Twitter rep regarding you know my ads on them. Oh, yeah, so, that's what they do. Um, oh, oh, yeah, Twitter, yeah. we've gotten notices, McBreen, to his own private Facebook that's like high school friends and stuff. Hey, don't send out this pro Second Amendment thing. That's not how you gain friends. We'll we'll terminate you next time. We did a whole story on that, and now everybody's getting these notices, or they're just suspending you if you say, you know, I believe in uh, the Second Amendment, or I believe in national sovereignty. They're deleting you. I mean, who needs the communist Chinese when you've got Man Bear Pig and 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 Al Gore and all these people? Well, I have my Facebook account left. That's pretty much it. But you know. My final words are, you can take my Twitter, my videos, my stardom I had in the past, or my movies, I you can take all that from me, but you're not going to take my soul. My soul is going to fight you to the end for this now. Oh, so you're only going to intensify your efforts against them now? Oh, it's not, it's, the war is, is done. There was, I'm the wrong person to do that. To Why don't you just it's, offer it's to have yourself list. dropped into a wood chipper and turn yourself into hamburger meat for, uh, for Michael Moore to eat you? I don't know. I think the other way around would be more, more <laughs> appropriate. <laughs> I am Leatherface, right? Uh, well, listen, listen. Um, in closing, uh, that's the fighting spirit. Every time they attack us, I just work harder. And and now I think this will backfire on them. What does your gut tell you, Telly? Uh, my gut is just keep pushing and keep pushing. Not giving up, pushing forward. And, you know, give them enough rope, they'll hang themselves every time. All right, give us your Facebook thought criminal. Um, <laughs> face. Let's say it one more time. I can hear you cut out. What is your Facebook page, Thought Criminal, before that's fully erased? Um, it should be facebook.com slash Leatherface or Telly Leatherface Blackwood. All right. Thank you uh, so much, sir. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for having me on. You bet. We'll get updates from him on the nightly news, at least. The reason this is a big deal, folks, and I make jokes about it, it's actually deadly serious, is that Mike Adams did a very tame but also funny thing about the TSA saying they were losers, and they took that down. And then we put it up, and they took it down. And then we put it up again, and then they blocked it. Uh, I mean, these are authoritarians prancing around saying they're liberals. They're the opposite of liberals. Johnny Appleseed was born during the Revolutionary War. He's not just a legend. And in more than five states, he introduced apples that had not even been grown in the colonies. 
Later, the seeds from plants he planted and cultivated and some of the varieties he developed spread across the United States. And it was Johnny Appleseed teaching the colonists and then the new Americans after we won independence the love of planting fruit trees that introduced that idea to North America. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a revolutionary act to unplug from the television, to unplug from the computer and all the globalist propaganda and to go out in your backyard or your front yard or planters at your apartment or on the roof of the building where you live and to plant a garden. Become the Johnny Appleseed of your community with seeds from the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsStore.com. The simple act of planting fruits and vegetables and then tending them and taking care of them and then sharing them with friends and family is a revolutionary act against tyranny. The globalists, first and foremost, do not want us to be self-sufficient. The crony anti-free market capitalist, the fascist, are using socialism and collectivism to shut down societies. Stalin in Poland and in Ukraine and other areas starved on record more than 10 million people over five years by not letting them grow their own crops and collectivizing them. Mao killed between 65 million and 80 plus million people doing this same thing. The UN says they will use food as a weapon. They use genetic evil to attack the earth and major GMO companies have been caught going into growth belts around the world, even where GMO is illegal, and planting seeds everywhere to infect the genetics of the original crops. Almost all of the thousands of varieties of Mexican corn has been infected. They are in a genetic war against everyone. That's why we have to get these seeds and not just plant them on our own gardens and not just give them as gifts to friends and family to plant spring and summer and fall gardens. I'm calling on you to go out into the green belts, to go out into the areas and plant secret gardens. No, not of marijuana, but of the hundreds and hundreds of incredible high quality uh, vegetables and herbs and fruit plants that are here. Lemons and oranges, the list goes on and on. They will grow, uh, plum trees, grape trees, they will grow almost everywhere in the U.S. We can literally, not just buying these products from InfoWarsStore.com, but from wherever you get them. This aggressive program literally just came to me one morning when I woke up about 4 a.m. realizing that we've got to counter their genetic war against us with original real crops developed over eons on this planet. We have the lowest prices we bought it in the biggest bulk that some of these companies have ever seen to ship this directly to you from the InfoWars Command Center. We stand for life. We stand for liberty. We stand for self-sufficiency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com, click on the Seed Center, and as of taping this, we have the seven top respected brands. We intend to continue to do research and find other companies, other specialties, other varieties to really take action. The InfoWars Store Seed Center has the largest online selection of heirloom, non-GMO seeds. Check out these products from our newest supplier, Heirloom Organics. The Medicine Garden, for a natural remedy. The Tea Garden, that contains every important tea herb you can grow. Fruit Lovers, with 12 varieties. And the Tobacco Pack, additive and pesticide free. Join the gardening revolution today at InfoWarsStore.com. This is a revolutionary action we're asking you to take. Plant seeds everywhere today. Nurture them, bring them to fruit, and pass on the knowledge to others. Become human again. Discover your roots in the soil. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing.